So hosting as AI assistant for WordPress, is it any good? Well, let's take a look. So if you're like me and you host your website with Hostinger, you may have this message in your H panel saying, Hostinger AI Assistant, try our tools to generate engaging content for your WordPress website. You can then install that plugin here. So I'm going to do that now and we're going to take a look at the plugin. So after installing the plugin, we get this message saying that it was installed successfully. We can then go to our admin panel and log into WordPress. Now, once we're in our dashboard, we can go to the AI content creator here. So it'll be in the top left. So go ahead and click on it and you can then create content with AI. So apparently you can write a topic and it's going to save you time and create SEO friendly content. So let's see if it's up to scratch of a human and if I would use it personally. So content types, we want it to create a post. We want it to be neutral and we're going to keep it at a medium length. Now we'll explain what our content's about and we'll get it to write an article about something here. So for this content here, I'm going to pretend that I'm a travel blogger and I'm going to get Hostinger's AI content creator to write an article about the best beaches in Thailand. I've told it to focus on the best beaches that are for beginners, as well as beaches that are a little harder to get to and less commercial. I've told it to really sell the Thai beaches to the reader and try and explain in detail how great they are. What are the focus keywords? I'm going to write here Thailand, beaches and travel. Then we're gonna get AI to now generate the content. So you can see we've got brewing content with magic. Let's see how long this takes and how good this article is. Okay, so that took around about two minutes for that to generate. It's also AI generated us an image, which we can set as the featured image, which I'm going to do. And I'm also going to add this image inside the content. So here we've got discover Thailand's best beaches from beginner friendly to hidden gems. It's gonna then give us an introduction. And obviously I'm not gonna read this on camera. We've also got beginner friendly beaches and these beaches as of someone who's been to thailand are pretty good patong beach is the most popular beach it then talks about islands in thailand also known as chuang beach which again is a popular beach here and then yeah it talks about Krabi. these are all places in thailand and freedom beach which is a less commercial hidden beach so it's done a pretty good job in terms of research from my personal experience with thailand it's also giving you here tips for planning your thai beach vacation now some of the word in here is a bit off like i wouldn't really write tips for planning your thai beach vacation sounds a bit off and then also i wouldn't put beginner friendly to hidden gems in the title i was just kind of explaining in a way for the ai to understand what angle i was going for beginner friendly beaches probably wasn't the best way to explain it on my part so let's scroll down and we'll click publish and then see what happens so there we go we've now published this article and we've got a featured image we've got the image which shows here in the blog post and then you've got the overall article so overall it's done a pretty good job one thing i would like to see is it adding images here based on the beach so if it talks about a specific beach maybe i would want it to add images as well but for a beta program, it's actually done a really good job. Now, you're going to have to ignore my blog. This is just a very new website. But in terms of actual creating the content, it's done a pretty good job and I'm happy with it. So let me know if you're going to use it in the comment section below. Maybe it's going to help you create your content or just give you ideas and create blog posts that you can tweak yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.